So what do you think? Do you think that your grandpa is D.B. Cooper? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you don't know. Me neither. You, you... No one really does. Shh. We don't know what that is. What is up, Adventure Agents? Agent Tex here. Most of you may not have known this, but D.B. Cooper here, he's a grandpa. Three, yes, three grandkids. Are these all the grandkids you have? Yep. We are going to challenge D.B. Cooper's grandkids so they can earn their badges. Are you ready to earn your, your adventure agent badges? Yeah. yeah! Emery here, we have Sabian, and I'm sorry, Sabin? Hi. Or Sabian? Sabin. Did I say? Sabin, okay, I'm Sabin. sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't like <laughs> and we have Nala here, love that name. That's such an awesome name. We also have here Agent Nightshade, she's gonna help. And we Agent have Braveway. Agent Braveway, yeah. Okay. And Agent Rainbow. Are you going to do the challenge to Agent Rainbow? Yes, I took a nice nap, and now I can go out and adventure. Yeah, he took a very long nap. So have any of you heard of something called Fatwood? Have you ever heard of that? Um, like big ones that are so wide. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, they call it Fatwood not because it's uh, fat, like really, really big, but because it's fat laden with a really special sap. The fatwood is used to make fire. Have you ever made your own fire? Yeah. You have? You haven't? You haven't? Okay. Well, I'm gonna challenge you three to make your own fire using flint and steel. We're gonna make it using fatwood. And I'm gonna show you how to locate fatwood in the forest. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's head out and do it, okay? First, we need to find the puppy show. Oh yeah, first we need to find the puppies. Come on, puppies! Oh yeah, they, maybe they'll lead us to the fatwood. Hey. Lead us to the fatwood! Come on, puppies! Oh my god! Oh no, they went, they went way down here. What are you doing, Agent Nightshade? You're running off. We need your help finding the fatwood, huh? You need to help them earn their badges, the challenge. She's like, I don't care about fatwood. She's like, <laughs> All right, everybody, so fatwood is formed when fir trees, the sap from fir trees, settles in the bottom of the trunk and it gets preserved there. So it's gonna be brown and dead wood, old rotten stumps, but it's not like a normal stump. It'll be all jagged and sticking up, okay? Do you know what jagged means? No. See that, that piece sticking up right there? It's all pointy. We're gonna head to D.B. Cooper's house and on the way, we're gonna look for fatwood, okay? Do you like puppies, Nala? You do. Right here on the left is a new beaver dam. Oh. Yeah, D.B. Cooper, uh, Agent D.B. was telling me about this. And look at that, man. He said yesterday there was no sticks here. And a beaver has been building up this pond here. What do you think about that, huh? Did you like What do you think? So you are D.B. Cooper's son. Yes. We keep saying that. It's, <laughs> he's allegedly. Al's son. But allegedly, yes. <laughs> so have you ever harvested fatwood no, out here? You, you haven't. So this is your first time. It's a learning experience for me too. So awesome. I didn't know about fatwood Awesome. Either. All right. Well, it is a must for starting a fire in the Pacific Northwest, especially in the winter or in the spring or in the fall. Do you think the beaver used that to make the dam? Maybe, maybe the beaver's taken from uh, DB's firewood stash Stealing here. Firewood. Stealing your stove wood. <laughs> you gotta make breakfast with that. So it looks like we found exactly what they were talking what about. Smell? That's kind of rotten. See that? Mm -hmm. But Try the top. a lot of times the, the rotten parts are on the outside, but the core is what's nice and preserved. I found a snail. Oh, all right, this, this is kind of good. Give it a smell. What do you think? Pretty good. You want to smell that, Sabin? Yeah, it's it's, pretty good. You, you think it's, you, you smell that specific, very unique smell? Yeah, it smells like um, that stuff that I ate today. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this smells good, but it's not quite good enough to make a fire with. We need stuff that's got really, really thick sap in it. So we're going to keep looking around. There. Yeah, you're right. There you go. Right there. Look how jagged that is. Look at that. It sticks way no. up and it's super pointy at the top. Whoa. All oh, right, that's so pretty heavy, good. That's looking I better. I don't smell like anything. Boy. Mm. Just a light, a faint smell. You, you know it's good when it's stiff. Wow, he pulled the whole thing over. <laughs> Look at that. Man, this is still pretty rotten. What are you doing, huh? Oh. 
All right, that's pretty good right there. Oh, that smells like it'll start a fire. All right. Okay, I think we found what we need to start this fire. So Agent Axe found another piece right here. And this piece is actually really good looking. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this while we're here. Oh yeah, that, oh. that's, whoo, that is amazing. All right, Rainbow, you gonna make a fire? He's like, no, don't lift it up. <laughs> so Nala is calling for Pepper. Oh, there she is. Look, she came for the call. All right, so now you guys can open up your packs and see what's inside, okay? Agent, Agent Rainbow. I got this, Mama. Agent Rainbow is trying to get into my pack. I got had a walkie-talkie. So cute. I got Mommy, him. I got a water bottle. Oh, this boy. Yeah. This tactical mama. flashlight, see? Okay, you push that bottom button there and push it'll blink. This, and then there's also that flashlight right there. Mama. So this is paracord. Mm. So you can use this right here. Here's my bag. It's cordage. And then you have a special bag you can keep hey, something. You can even keep uh, a Asian pressure here if you want to. Mm. There you go. <laughs> so this is her badge that she's going to earn gigantic. here. And we're going to put it up on the table there. Big. So when they learn to start their fire, they can earn their badge. Each of you has one of these, and this is what you're going to use for the town to start your fire. Hello, hello. And they can hear you right there. Uh, okay, I think yours is in here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh. We would not have been letting him do that if it was actually fire right here, okay? So the first thing we gotta do is we have to prepare our sticks for the fire. All right, so for the younger agents, we have our little cotton rolls here, and their challenge is to try to use the flint and steel, the ferro rod there, to catch this on fire. Now, the challenge for their dad is to try to catch the fat wood shavings on fire. He's never done this before, but he's an adult, so he's a lot more skilled at his hands than they are. And so I think it's kind of an equal challenge. So you gotta push as hard as you can and scrape on it like that. Oh, you get a spark. That, that, oh, I saw a spark. Did you see that? Whoa! Oh, the, wow! Oh, that was awesome! Look at that! Oh, look at that! Give me five! That was awesome! All right, well that's your little fire right there. Ah, uh, you see that? Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, you, you got it? Oh my gosh, Jesse got it. Great work, man. Dude, that's tough. It took me a while to learn that. It, it took me a good, a good like hour to really figure out how to get the shavings right and how to get oh, it all so, done so and to get a flame spice. there. Nice, man. That, it, it, that's I great. Did it. That's I great. Did awesome. This. You did it? Good job. No way. Give me five. Ah. Uh, did the camera this? catch it? Did you see it? What's ah, this? I can't believe I missed What's it. What's this? All right, let's see. Oh, you, there you go. That's it. That's what you need to get that fire going. You got it, man. Oh yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah, yeah light that on fire. Light those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I've missed his. Give me five, man. That is awesome. Give me five. You three have earned your badges, and if we had a badge for you, you would earn yours too. Oh, yeah. All right, just stack it like that. There you go. Yeah, uh, I think so. Put it, ice. hold it like this, and then set it down like that. For the smoke, because it'll get in your eyes. When smoke. There you go. Just like that. You want to put some sticks on? We're gonna get on the old bushcraft oh, boat old here. Block. So would you live on this with me Should out on the river? Lock this little one in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's trying to get down. Let's yeah, go. he's like feet first, feet first, feet, feet first. He got it down right pod. away. He figured out the stairs and getting off the couch uh -huh. instantly. It just took really one day of teaching him how to do feet first. Uh -huh. And but now he's like, yeah, he's oh like, look, mommy, first, look, I'm doing the right thing. Into feet the first. cold pod. <laughs> yeah, he is like, well, it's kind of wobbly, but I yeah. think I can still jump in. <laughs> oh, look, Pepper's on here. 
Hey, Pepper. What are you doing? We got a baby and a puppy on the boat. He's <laughs> He's an adventurer, man. He's like, I'm going straight in yeah, there. Yes. I'll figure out what that's all about in there. Definitely not going to get on that. So he won't climb up this one, but he'll climb up the six foot ladder at our house. <laughs> that was all right. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> it's hot, sorry. I should have told you. It's, it's hot. hot. Here, it's we'll hot put it right here. Dog. All right, so now because you earned your badges, we present Agent Unicorn Visit. Hi, hi. That is actually no, Nala's. Agent Unicorn. That's you. That's Emery. And then we also have Agent Dragon here. Cool. There you go. So congratulations, you all did such a good job. We're so proud of you. And remember, you don't need a badge to be an adventure agent. An adventure agent is something that just comes from the heart. If you love adventure, you love to get out and explore and have fun and have an adventure, then... Uh... being an adventure agent have a badge. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's all the philosophical, you know, debates that we could get into about badges and adventure agents. But, <laughs> but uh, if you love adventure, we think you're an adventure agent. So good work, you all. I see Agent DB. <laughs> he's, still, he's still got his frozen. badge here. That, that's one cool looking dude there. And, and see, Agent DB's about to start vlogging. Oh, you about to, are you going to start vlogging? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know all you would, would watch Agent DB's vlog if he started vlogging. A visit to D.B. Cooper's cabin is not complete without paddling around in his boat, so we're going to take the puppies out. Now I can paddle. Alright. Come on, there you go. Yeah. Hop on board. You want to get in? Oh, Alright. Alright, uh, we're taking on passengers here. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Ruby, you can sit in the middle there. I'm fine, but we could all fit it here. She was like, I'm gonna jump in the boat. She will jump. Alright. Oh, there's Faven. So what was your favorite thing about visiting your grandpa's cabin here? Seeing him. Seeing him, yeah. Do you think that your grandpa is D.B. Cooper? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you know. Me neither. You, you... No one really does. <laughs> here is saying goodbye to the puppies. Bye puppies! Because we gotta take them home, it's their bedtime. That little agent's having some fun. All right, so Agent Hummingbird is not feeling well. Her stomach's hurting, so I'm gonna take her home, and then I'm gonna head back and say goodbye to our friends. How does it feel to be able to roast marshmallows on a fire that you made? Good. Good. Pretty satisfying. Well, Jesse, it was really great it's having been a blast. having you all uh, on this adventure, and thank you for having us over and letting us film this. Uh, we just love documenting awesome people doing awesome things, and uh, your kids are great. They're so great. And, thank you. Uh, really... Thank you for showing them how to start a fire. Yeah, it's it's so satisfying. It's just it's one of the most satisfying things uh, to to be able to to start your own fire. It's I think it's definitely built into us. It's so important. Fire is so important for humanity, and. Uh, um, it's kind of like giving a you know a three-year-old an iPad for the first time. They're like, oh my god, you know. It's like, <laughs> there's a reason for that. It's fire. It's like, you know, it's, uh, we use fire and we took control of light. You know, as humanity, and and I think that's the the next leap, right? Is taking control of light with these devices, manipulating light, the ability to do that, the ability to manipulate light with the, the capturing these videos, right? That's like the next revolution from 
humans taking control of fire. And so uh, I'm so glad that we can utilize this technology of manipulating light and sharing the light of our videos with all of you. And I really appreciate Jesse and his whole family yeah, and his sister here. Uh, I'm sorry, so it, what is your name? To, to introduce to everyone, Molly. So this is Molly. This is D.B. Cooper's other uh, kid, her da his daughter. And you have two kids, right? Yep. So Jesse right and, and Molly. So, <laughs> so I have to ask you, is your dad D.B. Cooper? Mm, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> She's not telling either. Well, we'll figure it out one way or another. All right, agents. Well, remember, life's an adventure and love is a key and love is a who and love loves you. And we love you, and we're so glad you joined us on this adventure. Agent Tex out. So if you had an agent name, what would it be? Agent Domino. Agent Domino. All right. right. Love it. That's agent great. Domino That's out. a good one. Agent Domino out. Agent DB out. Agent Unicorn out. Agent Dragon out. This is uh, Agent Domino's wife. And what is your name? Oh, dear. <laughs> what would your agent name be if you had to pick um, one? Agent Mama. Agent Mama. Hey, there you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, it's good to meet you, Agent Mama. <laughs>